So here's another real life example of solving equations. If a job pays $12.50 per hour, but you spend $50 commuting to work each week, that's driving over and back. Um, if you need $500 per week to pay bills, how many hours do you need to work each week at this job? Minimum, right? So if a job pays $12.50 per hour, and you spend $50 commuting to work each week, you need $500 to pay bills, how many hours do you need to work each week? Now I know once again the easiest way to solve this is just take out a calculator and and figure it out. And and I totally agree that that is definitely the easiest way. The problem is that uh, real soon we're going to come up against you know one job paid $8 an hour and it costs you know $40 and, uh, and then you know when is that better than a job that um, that um, only pays uh, six dollars an hour, you know, and 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 things like that. Well, well, I guess even more complicated than that. But but I, I guess my point is we will have equations later on. Where we've got x's on both sides, and they're kind of difficult to figure out in your head. So in any case, um, we do need to practice setting up and solving equations for these elementary, well, they're you know easy enough. Uh, questions. I hope you find them easy enough anyway. So, but it's just about practicing, you know, taking a real life sentence and putting an X in there, writing down an equation and solving it. Just to, just to show that you can do it and just to have some practice. Anyway, so I guess my point is I just want you to always write down the number 10, okay? Number 10 is useful. People like the number 10, okay? A job pays twelve fifty per hour but you spend fifty dollars commuting, so that's a bad thing. The twelve fifteen hour is a good thing, but spending money to commute is a bad thing, right? But I just want you to tell me how much money you would get, okay? So if your hours were ten, what what would your how much money would you get? If you work ten hours, what what money would you get? Just imagine that you were actually spending fifty dollars commuting, right? So it's twelve fifty per hour, right? And you work ten hours, so how much money would that be? Twelve fifty per hour working ten hours? What would you do with these two numbers? Would you add them, subtract them, them or, or multiply them? Would you multiply them? Twelve fifty times ten, right? Does that make sense? But then that's that's the money you get for you get paid, but then of course you, you commute and that's fifty dollars a week. So per week it's twelve fifty times ten minus fifty dollars, right? So if you work 10 hours, the money you would get, just to understand this, would be 12.5 times 10 is 125, minus $50 commuting, that would be $75, right? So that would not be a great week, right? Um, but my question to you is, if you work X hours, what would your pay be? So I know if I work 10 hours, it's 12.50 times 10 minus 50, right? But if you work X hours, can you represent that in an expression? Do you get me? So 10 hours, 12.50 times 10 minus 50. If you work X hours, how much money would you get? Well, you take your dollars per hour, which is 12.50. Don't you multiply that by the number of hours, which is X, okay? Or you could use a different letter. You wouldn't have to use X. You could use H. We could use H if we want. You know, for hours, H. So you can use any letter you want. 12.50 times H, right? But you spend $50 commuting each week, right? Now, you need 500 bucks a week to pay bills. So this is the money you get. Now, I don't know the H yet. So I can't calculate it. Like up here I knew that H was 10 and I could calculate it to get 75. Here I don't know H, right? But I want the amount of money, this still is the amount of money, okay, the amount of money. I want this to equal, how much? I want it to equal 500, okay? And there we have an equation. We've set it up from real life. And that's a useful skill to set up an equation from real life, okay? So now we can solve this, right? So we got to get h by itself. First of all, we got to do what? Add 50, right? And now what do you get on both sides? You get 12.50 times h equals 
550. Now what this equation is saying is kind of interesting. It's saying that you've got to work for 500 for the bills and also 50 for the gas, basically, for commuting, the gas money, right? So 1250 times H. How do you get H by itself? You gotta divide both sides by 1250 or 12.5. Same thing, right? Does that make sense? Okay, so on the left you get H equals and Okay, so we have we're dividing by a decimal. So to get rid of the decimal on the denominator, you gotta multiply by ten, right? I know I could easily use a calculator for this, but I mean it really is great to know your arithmetic. It really helps. And so I like to take any opportunity I can to get you to practice it. 10 times a decimal number is going to move that decimal to the right. So the 1250 is going to become 125, right? So so $12.50 times 10 is 125 bucks. That makes sense, doesn't it? And if you multiply this number by 10, 550 bucks times 10 is going to be 5,500. Okay. Anyway, now I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 25. There's four 25s and 100. Four of them. Oh, oh, four of them. Okay. So there's five in this. So 25 into that goes five times. 25 into 55 goes two times remainder five. Okay. Now 25 into that 50 there goes two times. Whoops, two, sorry. And 20 time, 25 into zero goes zero times. So we have 220 up here, okay? Let me write that more clear. That should be a 220. Whoops, okay, and a five here. Now anyway, five and a five goes once, five and a 22, four times and two over. 5 into 20, 4 times. So this gives us 44 over 1. So H equals 44. Okay? And H represented what? What did H represent? Da, 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 da. How many hours do you need to work each week to get this money? So we're saying 1250 times H minus 50 equals 500 and H is 44. We're saying that 1250 times 44 okay that amount of money per hour times 44 hours this is hours right minus fifty dollars commuting to work each week should give 500 check that okay check that right so it's 112.5 times 44 Four fives twenty carry the two, four eights is four twos is eight and two is ten, carry the one, four ones is four and one is five, put down a zero, four times this gives the same thing. Okay. We have one decimal in the question, so when decimal in the answer, right? So five fifty point zero or five fifty, right? So this becomes five fifty. And then minus the fifth, so we earn 550 from the 44 hours. We subtract $50 for gas, and that leaves us $500 to pay the bills at home. And so that worked out, right?